Welcome back to the channel everybody Today I have this 2016 Freiner Cascadia um, The problem that this Cascadia was having was uh, a noise The vehicle one when it was going uh, on the highways Specifically on, on high gears It was making a sound coming from the rear end and this sound was kind of like uh, between the transmission and the rear end and uh, the driver was concerned about something uh, going bad so we did replace the carrier bearing because the carrier bearing was bad but the sound still was coming from the rear end so i decided to check a little more and for that you're gonna see how this rear end was you can see it then uh, this rear end had a little plate and actually it was making uh, a sound. Uh, you can hear it right now. So uh, the sound it was making you can clearly see then that it was like uh, something that was loose inside the rear uh, end and, um, and after uh, inspecting the the differential right I uh, decided to drain the fluid and once I drained the fluid you could see then there was a lot of uh, contamination inside the fluid uh, there was a lot of uh, material going on there and um, that definitely means that there is something broken inside the differential so there was no questions on the problem on this uh, cascade so the only solution to this uh, problem was to actually open the rear end so once um, I uh, opened the rear end I find out then uh, the bearing had a little play the bearing had so much play on it then was completely uh, I mean like out of whatever uh, we can say uh, specifications we can uh, think about because the play was completely uh, excessive on the bearing and also the raise on the uh, on the cap of the the cover of the differential had play inside the the uh, the the little cover so that means then the race was spinning inside and this could uh, be the reason why this differential had a lower play because the, the bearing was not actually making pressure to the uh, to the race of the bearing and this caused this noise because every time the driver was saying he was like going high gears and there was this moment when uh, you were actually putting on neutral or shifting gears and you wanna hear that sound coming so specifically from the rear that means then the play from the rear end was just like coming to an end when the pressure was i mean when you are applying torque to the differential and then you wanna hear that sound and uh that's how uh, these uh problem uh, got to uh, the solution to it. In this case, uh, we have uh, the new bearing installed over here. We have it uh, already on place. See, this is the new bearing. So, this is going to be the new uh, bearing that is going to go on this one. So, we have play over here because this one doesn't have the front raise, then goes on top. And um, the cause of this problem for uh i just gonna think about what caused this problem and the bearing got completely destroyed in this case uh the bearing is not a problem right now because the bearing is already installed it is just to put it back the problem the problem that we have right now is right here it is with this uh with this let me bring the flashlight right now <laughs> the problem is going to be with this this is the the cover as I shown before and uh, we have the seal right here this is an adjuster for the seal and everything so the problem consists over here because we have play on this one that should be solid this has to be solid so because it is not solid anymore we can remove the race and we can install the new one but it's possible then this is going to have play even if we install the new one 
So this part over here of the differential, this cover, the front cover of the differential gotta be replaced with a new one. You can see how much wear of the bearing is here. See, this is all the wear that uh, silver marks. You can see how much uh, wear of this differential is in here. See, this is uh, all bearing wear. Then this uh, bearing was thrown into the oil. And uh, definitely that was the reason why this bearing got completely destroyed. Uh, but anyway, uh, this was just to show you what was the reason, what I, what I found after inspecting this uh, um, problem on this uh, Cascadia. Uh, um, it, 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 this can happen to uh, or to all trucks. Uh, it doesn't matter what brand is going to be, uh, because the bearing is going to be pretty similar. I mean, the way the bearing is going to wear, and uh, once the bearing is wear, there is nothing you can do but replacing the bearing. And it's very important that you replace the oil and clean the differential. If you can remove the differential, it will be better, so you can clean it and inspect if there is any other problems. But that will be uh, the most you can do, at least uh, clean it with diesel or something, so you can push all the uh, uh, debris of the bearing, then wear, uh, uh, contact, then, then, then still inside the differential, because the housing of differential is still gonna have stuff. But, um, uh, this is was all that I wanted to show you the problem that this uh, truck had a differential problem and um, I guess this is a problem that probably is not going to be super common but it's going to be uh, a problem that is going to affect one two three trucks here and there uh, the uh, problem is sometimes in, uh, looking for the cause of the problem that is going to be hard in this case the differential is still okay but that doesn't mean that it's not going it's going to last forever so it's very good to inspect it to see if there is any problems with it and uh, and that's it in this case we already uh, know and there is no problems there is just that there is no bigger pieces of metal it is just to clean it right now it is just uh, bearing where the one is here so all we have to do is replace the fluid and that will be uh, the solution to this problem but um, if you have any question then probably I didn't mention here or simply then you have any uh, doubts on uh, the video that I'm just doing right now you can actually uh, do a comment on the comment section and there you can leave any of the answers uh, or any of the questions, I'm sorry, or any of the doubts then probably this video didn't answer. So that way you can understand more or simply get the information that you want. And also if you know the answers to the question that people is asking, you can uh, do and do the answers. That way uh, we can all learn something new. Who knows, I can learn something from you as well. And uh, that way we can do this video more informative than whatever it is right now. And also if you wanna send support to my channel, you can check the video description where I have details how to send support to my channel. So I can create content like this for all of you. Then just wanna learn more or simply you wanna do it yourself as well. Uh, it's very important that you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and thank you for watching.